If you've made big profits in your portfolio, don't make this common mistake and risk losing those gains. I hear stories about this a lot with investors who don't work with a professional who make huge gains on a stock or a sector, but they don't sell, they don't take profits because of FOMO, fear of missing out. I'm gonna take you through an example of how profit taking can benefit you and why it's so important. So we're gonna go through an example. The first one is the buy and hold strategy, not taking profits. So you've got four quarters, you have a stock that's worth $10, you have 100 shares and so it's worth $1,000. The stock doubles from $10 to $20 and then to $40 and then crashes back down to $5. So your portfolio is worth $1,000, $2,000, $4,000 and then of course 500 bucks. Now what happens if you take profits? First quarter stock is worth $10, you've got 100 shares worth $1,000. In quarter two it doubles to $20, you sell 50%, you have $2,000 still equal to where you were in the buy and hold scenario, but of course you've reduced your risk by half and you've locked in those profits. Third quarter, you sell 50% of your shares again. You now have 25 shares. Total value is $3,000 compared to $4,000 in the buy and hold. So right at the very peak, that's where you're missing out. But at the end of the day, when the stock drops down to $5, you are left with $2,125 in the taking profit scenario versus $500 in the buy and hold scenario. Now remember, in reality, you would have taken those cash values that you have sitting aside and you would have invested them elsewhere. Taking profits is a calculated risk that you'll miss some of the upside, but in doing so, you're locking in those gains, you're reducing the downside risk, and you're also reducing potential to have balloon positions. Of course, this is a simplified scenario. When and how much profits to take depends on experience and expertise. And remember, I don't know anyone that went broke taking a profit. I'm Anne Hilberry. Thank you so much for listening.